네, 오늘은 누구의 이야기를 들어보면 좋을까요? So today we have a clip sent to us from Serena from Germany. 네, 사리나 씨의 이야기를 들어볼 텐데요. 사리나 씨가 신문을 좋아한다고 해요. Oh, really? 네, 신기하죠? Hmm. <웃음> 한번 사리나 씨를 불러볼까요? Yep, yeah. 사리나 씨, 나와주세요. 나와주세요. I know this might sound cliche or old-fashioned, And I'm a young person, but I love to read the newspaper wherever I go. First of all, they bring together the most important news. And you can also get a lot of info about upcoming concerts or flea markets or any other event that you might be interested in. Um, I don't really differentiate between the online version or the actual printed newspaper, Because the reason that I sometimes use the one over the other might be the lack of time or that I wasn't able to get my hands on an actual printed newspaper. What I also like to do is listen to the radio. It's very convenient because you can drive or do some housework or anything else while listening to the most up-to-date news. Oh, wow, that's very interesting. Yeah, indeed. You don't see many young people these days who like actual printed newspapers. Yeah, but she's not a common young person, yeah, right? Yeah, she's, she's a, not. She's in med school. She learned to compose music before. Right, in her art camp. Yeah. And she's traveled to so many different yeah, countries. Yeah, she's very talented. I yeah. guess she likes to learn things um, mm-hmm. in the old-fashioned way, too. Mm-hmm. 그래서 뉴스를 이제 신문을 통해서 접하는 것도 굉장히 좋아한다라고 했고 실제로 어디를 가든지 신문을 이제 읽는 것을 즐긴다고 했는데 음. 재미있어요. 자 그러면 한줄한줄 한줄 끊어서 사리나 씨의 이야기를 들어보겠습니다. Okay. 첫 번째 부분이 좀 어렵죠? Yeah, so the first part has some words that could be a little bit fast, might be difficult to understand. So first let's take a look at the clip. I know this might sound cliche or old-fashioned, and I'm a young person. I know this might sound cliche or old-fashioned, and I'm a young person. Uh, What did she (laughs) say? So she said, I know this might sound cliche or old-fashioned, and I'm a young person. Mm -hmm. I know this might sound cliche or old-fashioned, and I'm a young person. I know this might. I know this might. I know this might. I know this might sound. I know this. I noticed. I noticed. I know right. this. <laughs> But it's I know this. So yeah. you have to listen very carefully in those cases because we almost always say I know this or I noticed very fast. Mm-hmm, 맞아요. Yeah. 그래서 I know this might 뭐뭐뭐 이 형태도 또 자주 쓰이는 말이에요. Mm-hmm. I know this might sound strange, but I know this might sound mean, mean or but, shocking. Yeah. But can you just do this and that? 이런 no. 식으로 <laughs> Can you not do anything? <laughs> yep. Okay. That's fine. That's easy. So I know this might 이런 식으로 I know this might sound complicated, but 이런 형태로 but까지 이어지는 경우도 많고 여기서는 그렇지는 않는데 sound cliche or old-fashioned mm-hmm. cliche하거나 old-fashioned하게 들릴 수도 있지만 mm-hmm. and I'm a young person 게다가 저는 젊은 사람이지만 이라는 말인데요 mm-hmm. 이두 가지 표현을 꼭 공부해야겠죠 cliche, what's cliche? So cliche is something that might be like overused or like something that you might find in a movie like certain situations yeah. that are overly played as well 맞아요, 이럴 때는 꼭 이러더라 라고 하는 yeah. 거 있죠 꼭 비가 오면 뭐 이별을 하더라 mm-hmm. 꼭뭐꼭 <웃음> 집에 가고 싶어 그러면 못 가더라 이런 형태 그런 mm-hmm. 것들이 예상되는 거 Very predictable Things mm-hmm. that happen and the things that happen quite commonly, mm-hmm. they're all cliches. Yeah, but it has more sense of being overused. <laughs> <laughs> 네, 네. 너무 많이 yeah. 나와서 상투적인 거죠. Yeah. 상투적인 말도 클리셰이고 여기서는 클리셰가 형용사 형태로도 쓰였습니다. Mm-hmm. Or old-fashioned, 뭐 그냥 구식인 것은 yeah, 이렇게 Yeah, old-fashioned. Stuff people used to do way back in the day. 네. Stuff that maybe our grandparents do that maybe a young person wouldn't do, which is why she said, and I'm a young person after that. 네. Yeah. 그리고 패션이 꼭 패션만 가리키는 것은 아니에요. Right. It's the way something's made. 네. Something could be fashioned 그렇죠. from wood. It means that it's made from wood. 방식을 가리키는 거예요. Right. 만들어지는 방식 또는 mm-hmm. 뭔가를 하는 방식. 그래서 old right. fashion이라고 하면 예전의 패션이 아니고요. 예전의 right. 유행이 아니고. It was made a long time ago. The 그렇죠. idea or the way of doing something was fashioned way 네. back in the day. 네. 옷 패션과는 <웃음> 아무 관계가 없는 말입니다. Old fashioned. 그냥 구식으로 들릴 거라는 걸 알지만 그리고 게다가 저는 젊은 사람이지만 mm-hmm. Let's listen to this part two more times. 
I know this might sound cliche or old fashioned, and I'm a young person. I know this might sound cliche or old fashioned, and I'm a young person. So, whenever you say, I know something, 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 you always need a but. but yeah. <laughs> so, let's find out the but. <laughs> but I love to read the newspaper wherever I go. But I love to read the newspaper wherever I go. 네, 저는 젊은 사람이지만 그리고 구식으로 들릴지 모르겠지만 I love to read the newspaper wherever I go. Mm-hmm. 저는 어디를 가든지 신문을 읽는 것을 좋아해요라고 했고 mm-hmm. 여기서 이제 문장에 여러분이 직접 문장을 만들어 본다고 했을 때 mm-hmm. 정확도를 높이기 위해서 to increase the accuracy of your sentences. Mm-hmm. 이런 것들 한번 질문을 해 봐야 돼요. 왜 the newspaper인가? Why not read a newspaper? Uh. 이런 것들 계속 의심을 하고 you have mm-hmm. to doubt everything mm-hmm. when it comes to learning to compose sentences on your own. That's true. So now give us the answer. 답을 주시죠. <laughs> Why is it the newspaper? It's the newspaper because it's not just like a random newspaper, especially like in a certain town or city yeah. there's usually like maybe one major newspaper. Mm-hmm. So we always just use the 네. because we understand in every town they have a newspaper so it's the paper. 맞아요. Yeah. 보통 신문을 읽는다고 했을 때딱그 정해져 있는 경우가 많죠. Mm-hmm. 그래서 그렇게 하기도 하고 게다가 in this case as well it's a medium mm-hmm. the newspaper. Mm-hmm. I take the bus. 저 버스 타요. What bus? Yeah. The bus. The bus, the, the bus you know. system. Yeah. 네. 그렇기 때문에 mm-hmm. 두 가지 이유로 the newspaper라고 했습니다. Mm-hmm. And first of all, they bring together the most important news. First of all, they bring together the most important news. 여기서 바로 first of all이라고 했지만 뭐 because라든지 Yeah, in this case I think she meant more like because. 네, 네. Yeah, usually there's first of all, second of all when you're listing reasons why you like something. 그렇죠. Yeah. 이유를 설명을 할때 이제 하나씩 하나씩 말을 하는데 여기서는 because가 없이 바로 첫 번째 이유는 mm-hmm. <웃음> 우선 이유를 말하고 있습니다. Mm-hmm. They bring together. Bring이라는 것은 가져오는 거죠. 또는 데려오는 mm-hmm. 거죠. bring together mm-hmm. 한 곳에 데려다 놓는다 한 곳에 모은다 mm-hmm. the most important news mm-hmm. 뭐 가장 중요한 소식 이 신문에는 모여 있다라는 이야기가 되겠습니다. Mm-hmm. You know things can bring together maybe people too. Yeah, yeah, you can bring people together. So for example, in families, you know, babies bring the family back together because they'll all come yeah, and meet to meet the baby. Yeah, exactly what yeah. happened to my family. Yeah. In my family, when my son was born, I think a lot of you have. experience the same mm-hmm. thing other like either with your own children or with your nephews and nieces. Yeah. 그래서 이제 사람들을 한데 모이게 한다. 아기가 태어나면 mm-hmm. 이제 좀 어, 집결이 되는 거죠, 사람들의. Mm-hmm. 그리고 사람들의 그런 모임도 자주 일어나게 되고. Mm-hmm. 그다음에 maybe board games can bring people together. Oh, yeah. In that case, bring people together means that these people have become closer. They're 네. building good relationships together. 가까워지는 거죠. Yeah. 네. It's kind of like icebreaker type feel. Like yeah. games bring people together. They make you comfortable yeah. with one another. A, yeah. a TV show can bring people together. Mm-hmm. You know, if people are talking about the same show. Right. Hopefully, EBS, he's saying, well, Yango brings your family together yeah. so you can study together. <laughs> if not family, maybe your co-workers or yeah. classmates. Co-workers or classmates. Okay. And then? And you can also get a lot of info about upcoming concerts or flea markets. Mm-hmm. And you can also get a lot of info about upcoming concerts or flea markets. 네. Get a lot of info라고 했는데요. Info는 is short for information. Information. Mm-hmm. 너무 길다고 느껴서 info라고 줄인 것 같아요. Mm-hmm. 그래서 information desk도 뭐 info desk라고 하는 경우도 yep. 있는데 information desk. 네, 똑같은 거죠. Info, information. 그리고 이제 여러분 컴퓨터 같은 거 쓰실 때 특히 이제 스마트폰에도 I라고 돼 있고 동그라미 쳐 있는 게 있어요. 아. 이게 다 information이죠. 그 클릭하면은 uh-huh. 더 정보가 나오죠. 그래서 uh-huh. 어, 무엇에 대해서 upcoming concerts, concerts. 다가오는 콘서트나 uh-huh. or, or flea market. 벼룩 시장. Flea markets. flea markets. That is true. Because in the newspaper, because they're local, you mm-hmm. get more local news. So, That's like, right. I hear about flea markets nowadays on SNS. But if you don't use SNS regularly, then you'll miss all the flea markets. 맞아요. Yeah. 뭐 벼룩시장 뿐만 아니라 다른 행사들도 볼수 있겠죠? Yeah. In the next line. Or any other event that you might be interested in. Mm. Or any other event that you might be interested in. 아니면 여러분이 관심 있을 만한 You might be interested in까지 꼭 써줘야 됩니다. Mm-hmm. 왜냐하면 in an event. Hmm. 
in an event로 연결돼야 되는데 앞에 an event가 앞으로 넘어갔기 때문에 in mm -hmm. 그렇다고 해서 지워버리면 안 되겠죠? Mm -hmm. Any other event 다른 어떤 행사 또 uh, a lot of info를 여러분이 많은 정보를 접할 수 있다라는 이야기였습니다. All right, and then what does she say next? I don't really differentiate between the online version or the actual printed newspaper. Mm -hmm. I don't really differentiate between the online version or the actual printed newspaper. 여기서 이 단어 꼭 중요하죠. Differentiate. 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 원래 이제 different는 다른 거고. Mm, different. 네, differentiate는. Differentiate means you can tell the difference between A or B, or you notice a huge difference, or it's important the difference between two things. 맞아요. <웃음> 두 개의 차이가 보인다 또는 mm -hmm. 두 개를 구분한다라는 뜻인데 mm -hmm. 여기에서는 온라인 버전, the online version, 즉 인터넷으로 읽을 수 있는 뉴스와 mm -hmm. or the actual newspaper, 그런데 actual printed newspaper, mm -hmm. 실제로 인쇄된 신문을 구분하지 않는다. 이 말은 she doesn't care whether it's the newspaper right. or it's the website, she just wants the news. Right, that's what I was just about to say. In this case, when you yeah. use differentiate, it means you don't really prefer one over the other. You don't really care about 그렇죠. the differences. 네. Yeah. 보통은 사람들이 이제 더 쉽게 접할 수 있는 인터넷 뉴스를 접한다면 right. mm -hmm. 뭐 다른 사람들 뭐 어떻게 생각하는지도 볼수 있고 mm -hmm. 할 텐데 또는 공유도 할수 있고 그렇지만 사리나 씨 같은 경우에는 신문으로 읽어도 괜찮다라는 거죠. She mm. doesn't prefer anything over like either or the, over other. the other. But yeah. in the next sentence, she does tell us, you know, a possible situation where she might prefer one or use one over the other. Okay, which is? Because the reason that I sometimes use the one over the other, mm -hmm. because the reason that I sometimes use the one over the other. 여기에서는 이 문장에서 가장 중요한 부분은 over인 것 같아요. Mm -hmm. Over가 사실은 여러 가지 뜻을 가지고 있는데, right. you can go over a hurdle. You maybe. can go over a hurdle or you can flip something over. 네, so over. I can flip the cards over. 네, over라는 것은 이렇게 어떤 방향을 가리키는 말로 많이 쓰이지만 mm -hmm. 여기에서는 그런 뜻보다는 이거 말고 다른 거. Yeah, so you can prefer something over another. 그렇죠. Mm -hmm. 무엇보다 다른 것을 선호한다라고 할때그 mm -hmm. 보다의 뜻으로 쓰이는 경우도 종종 mm -hmm. 있습니다. 그래서 꼭 mm -hmm. 기억해 주시고 그래서 제가 뭐 이거를 고른다고 했을 때 이거 말고 the other 말고 this one 이걸 고르는 이유는 뭐죠? Might be the lack of time. <웃음> Might be the lack of time. 신문 말고 뭐 다른 전자기기로 읽을 수 있는 right. 거 좋아해서가 아니고 그냥 시간이 부족해서. Yeah. 아니면 so, 네. so she's not differentiate between you know online or the actual newspaper because she cares. It's just because there's no time, 네. she might use one over the other. 네. 신문을 사러 갈 시간이 없으니까 그냥 볼 수도 있다라는 yeah. 거죠. Might be the lack of time mm -hmm. or or that I wasn't able to get my hands on an actual printed newspaper. 네. Or that I wasn't able to get my hands on an actual printed newspaper. 네, 아니면 실제로 인쇄된 신문을 못 구해서일 수도 있어요라고 mm -hmm. 이야기했습니다. 이것이 오늘의 핵심 문장과 관련이 있고, uh, hearing this part, it almost sounds like she actually prefers, prefers the newspaper. Right. I was just about to say that. Yeah. She said she doesn't really differentiate, but it seems like she prefers the printed one. 네, 그래서 구분하지 않는다고 이야기를 했는데 그 다음 문장들을 보면은 뭐. 신문을 더 좋아하는 것 같아요. 신기하게도 yeah. 신문을 못 구하면 인터넷상의 기사를 읽는데 mm -hmm. 별로 뭐 그래도 개의치 않는다라고 이야기하는 거니까요. Mm -hmm. All right, very very interesting. It is interesting, but printed stuff I like the way it smells. 아. So I like new books. In terms of books over e-readers, I like I like actual books. Yeah, and I think books that are published in Korea are like more high quality than books that are published outside of Korea. Mm. I think I I believe that. And, you mean the pages uh, smell better? I, I, the 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 paper quality is better. It's better because mm -hmm. in the states, especially or in any oh, other yeah, country, we use some thin ones. You have what you call a paperback, you know, mm -hmm. material. Right. But then we have more a, a wider variety of right. paper types and mm -hmm. it's thicker. Basically, books are nicer True. in Korea. And they smell better. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know about the smell. Really? They, Next time you go to a bookstore, just open a book and smell it. 네. It smells good. It's nice. 사실, 네, 저는 이제 한국에서 계속 자라면서 당연히 여겼던 것인데 한국에서 출판되는 책들의 질이 다른 나라에서 보는 책들보다 훨씬 좋아요. 그래서 mm -hmm. 냄새 이야기를 하는데 냄새는 모르겠고 아무튼 재질이 저는 <laughs> 좋더라고요. Anyway. Let's okay. move on to the next line. So the next sentence could be a little bit difficult to understand, so let's check out the clip. 
What I also like to do is listen to the radio. What I also like to do is listen to the radio. What I also like to do is listen to the radio. Did she say what else? No, she no. did not. Let me tell you what she said. Okay. She said, "What I also like to do uh -huh. is listen to the radio." Yeah. What I also like to do is listen to the radio. 그러니까 what 다음에 also 둘다 강조가 됐고 I가 좀 부드럽게 말하는군요. Yeah. What I. What I also. What I also. What I also. Mm -hmm. 그래서 what else 사람도 들릴 수 있어요. Mm. What else? It does. <웃음> what else do I like? Yeah. 네. What I also like to do. 제가 또 좋아하는 것은 is to listen. Is listen to the radio. To the radio. 네. 물론 is to라고 붙여도 똑같은 말이 되겠습니다. Mm -hmm. Is to listen to the radio or is listen to the radio or is listening to the radio 다 같아요. Mm -hmm. 라디오를 듣는 것도 좋아한다고 합니다. Wow, interesting. That is interesting. She yeah. likes everything that's kind of old-fashioned. Yeah. She likes all the outdated things. She, she needs to get up to date. Yeah, she likes the analog ways yeah. of doing things. Uh -huh. Very interesting. Let's hear that part again. What I also like to do is listen to the radio. What I also like to do is listen to the radio. So why does she like to listen to the radio? Let's find out. Okay. It's very convenient because you can drive or do some housework. It's very convenient because you can drive or do some housework. 네, 이유가 바로 앞에 나오고 있습니다. It's very convenient. Mm -hmm. 편리하기 때문이죠. Mm -hmm. 라디오를 들으면요. Because 왜냐하면 왜 편리하는가 하면 you can drive 운전하면서 들을 수도 있고요. Or do some housework. Mm -hmm. 집안일을 하면서도 들을 수 있기 때문에 편합니다. Mm -hmm. Or what else can you do? Or Anything else while listening to the most up-to-date news. 그렇죠. Or anything else while listening to the most up-to-date news. Or anything else라고 그냥 집약적으로 말을 했네요. 그 mm -hmm. 다른 어떤 것도 할 수가 있어요. 뭘 하면서 while listening to the most up-to-date news. 최신 뉴스를 들으면서요. Up-to-date 여러분 이제 잘 아시겠죠? Right. 그런데 할수 없는 게 하나 있어요. What? You cannot listen to music oh. while listening to the radio. That's true. Where you could, if it's like a talking program and there's no music, you can have background music to that Maybe. talking program. Yeah, I was trying to find something that you couldn't <laughs> do while listening to the radio, but... That's true. Yeah. Anyway, that's the end of Serena's story. Sure is. So why don't we take a look at it two more times, the first time with English subtitles and the second time with that. Let's watch. I know this might sound cliche or old-fashioned, and I'm a young person, but I love to read the newspaper wherever I go. First of all, they bring together the most important news. And you can also get a lot of info about upcoming concerts or flea markets or any other event that you might be interested in. Um, I don't really differentiate between the online version or the actual printed newspaper because the reason that I sometimes use the one over the other might be the lack of time or that I wasn't able to get my hands on an actual printed newspaper. What I also like to do is listen to the radio. It's very convenient because you can drive or do some housework or anything else while listening to the most up-to-date news. I know this might sound cliché or old-fashioned, and I'm a young person, but I love to read the newspaper wherever I go. First of all, they bring together the most important news. And you can also get a lot of info about upcoming concerts or flea markets or any other event that you might be interested in. Um, I don't really differentiate between the online version or the actual printed newspaper because the reason that I sometimes use the one over the other might be the lack of time or that I wasn't able to get my hands on an actual printed newspaper. What I also like to do is listen to the radio. It's very convenient because you can drive or do some housework or anything else while listening to the most up-to-date news. Okay, thank you, Sarina, for telling us the story once again. Well, two more times, in fact. 이번에는 또 재미있는 표현들 소개해 보겠습니다. All right, it's time for Street Smart. Smart.